Welcome to Trade Along. Today, we're diving into the dynamic realm of E-mini NASDAQ 100 trading, where we'll be taking long positions to capitalize on market trends. We will go over everything from expected value to determining the correct position size to entering the trade using a credit spread. Whether you're new to trading or have considerable experience, this guide will offer valuable insights to enhance your trading strategy. For beginners, we suggest risking 0.5% of your total portfolio and not exceeding 50% of your total account. Experienced traders can use up to 2% positions with a risk limit of up to 75% of their account. Trade along, determine your maximum position size by multiplying your account size by the maximum risk adjusted for your experience level a 20% annual return with this option held for 18 days and a maximum risk of $5,000, the AI estimates an expected value of approximately $71. Trade along. To calculate your required expected value, multiply the annual percentage you aim to earn by the previously calculated maximum risk and then multiply that result by the years to expiry. We identified a put credit spread with the highest expected value by selling at 17,000 and buying at 16,750 to earn a premium. This setup has a delta of negative 0.1, expires in 18 days, and offers a reward of $317 against a risk of $4,683. The system indicates a success probability of about 95.6%. This results in an expected value of $94 over an 18-day period, which surpasses our required expected value of $71. You can use this probability for evaluating your trade calculations as needed. Trade along. First, calculate the risk and reward of the trade, then use the probability to determine the expected value. Size the trade based on your maximum risk and ensure the expected value exceeds the required expected value before proceeding. This trade has been analyzed from an expected value perspective. The final outcome is a trade where we aim to earn a premium from the option. To ensure this trade fits into your portfolio, Make sure you don't have any other trades in the same category and direction that may be correlated with the same expiry date. Additionally, adhere to the previously defined risk parameters for your portfolio. Thank you for tuning in. If you found this guide beneficial, be sure to hit like, share it with others, and subscribe for more trading tips. Wishing you successful trading! Remember, this video is for educational purposes and does not serve as financial advice.